What's up, guys? We are back at the uh, the new shop space that is going up, and this is going to be the second update. I plan to do these uh, each Saturday, come down here, uh, so I'm not getting in the way of the crew, but give you guys an update as to uh, what the progress was throughout the week and what, have, what they've gotten done. So let's jump right into it. I will go ahead and uh, give you a pan down the building so you can see they have, I believe they have all the external sheathing nearly done. They're still working on that end down there, that last unit. Uh, I don't know why they haven't completed that, but they're, they still got that to do. And then there's another doorway through that area there that they've got to finish up uh, for that end unit. Okay. But they have started putting these studs up through the, uh, the center to divide all of the units into its four equal places so that you can see what it's going to look like now. So the exterior is looking pretty good. And here's a better shot of what the wall's gonna look like. So now it's finally starting to take a better shape so you can see how much space the unit will have that I'm gonna be leasing right there, all right? This is probably more of the studs for the wall that's gonna be over there where the uh, office is at. And I'm sure by the end of uh, next week, they're probably gonna have most of that done. I don't know how much finished it's gonna be, but they're definitely gonna be having that wall up. I will point out, this is gonna be uh, drywall finished right here. This is the only wall beside, this wall and the office walls will be drywall finished. Those will not be, that's, that's finished as it is. They are gonna be adding circulation fans onto that wall there. Each unit has a circulation fan, so they're still gonna mount that. That's going to be a welcomed addition too, especially in the nice months when we can open the doors up and have a nice little draft coming through here. Which is think? so exciting. It is. It's very exciting. Yeah. Very exciting to have uh, a space like this that's fresh and brand new. The skylights are great. I'm glad they're there. It is, it is awesome. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be about like this if we're using it with the door open without any lights on, look how bright it is in here. It's great. I mean, it's like daylight right now. It's like it's been lit up with lights. Yeah. So going into the lighting, I wanted to answer a few more of the questions that I have seen in the post and in the first video. We are having lighting installed in here. And what I'm gonna do is, uh, the electrical contractor is doing the electrical separate from the general contractor that's doing the construction. I believe what they're installing is what they consider maybe UFO lights. I believe it's the ran, uh, round style LED lights, and I don't remember how many he has scheduled to put in here, but I'm going to see if I can go ahead and uh, possibly double what they're planning on putting in here to have even more light because I definitely want it. I definitely want it bright in here so that it's plenty brightness whenever it's dark outside. So, you know, we're not always going to be here working whenever it's bright outside. We might be down here at nighttime doing some work as well. So I want to make sure that it's plenty well lit up and it's important for a machine shop to be well lit up. Okay, one of the other questions I had is, are we going to have three-phase power? Absolutely, we're going to have three-phase power here. This will be a low voltage three-phase, just like I have at my shop. Uh, the service here over at Joe's facility where, there, where Gulf Power is going to be hooking in uh, is not equipped for high voltage. So I believe it's a 240 three-phase is what's going to be in here. The panels, I believe, they're planning on putting into this back corner area right in here somewhere. I'm sure it'll be right here. All right. The three-phase panel, everything will be right here. All right. So one of the things I got to work on this week is I'm planning on getting a proper piece of uh, conduit piping and boxes. And uh, Richard is gonna be, whenever they're finishing this wall here, I would like him to have uh, you know, a circuit here available with different outlets available that we can use to hook in machinery down the road. I don't know what is gonna be in here yet. I want the option to have a box there available to hook into so uh, it should be just an open pipe so that they can pull the wires through what, whatever i need and, and hook it up there so that's sort of like a pre-planning thing uh, they will be putting receptacles along the wall and i'm going to talk to them about that as they get started to make sure that i have plenty of receptacles i want them to go all the way around and have plenty of places to be able to plug in something 
all right? I think that covered the questions that I wanted to uh, touch on. Okay, so this right here, I went ahead and ordered a bag full of jam nuts. I always call them half nuts, but these are jam nuts. Inch and a quarter, that's what the stud size is. So next week, we're gonna be getting the column set right here for the Gorbel jib crane. And I believe what we're gonna do is set the, set the column first and then let it set before we torque it down and add the rest of, you know, the I-beam on the top. So the plan is, and um, Richard, the contractor told me, suggested let's do this, get some half nuts, which is what I got. We're gonna run half nuts down on all of the studs, down to the bottom, and we'll space it approximately a half inch from the uh, concrete up to where the base will be, and then get the column plumb like we're supposed to, and then once we get it, plumb and ready to go, uh, Richard is going to grout the bottom of it. He's going to shoot the, the grout in there from the bottom. And that is one of the specifications from Gorbel, and I know that's a proper way to mount machinery as well. And from what I understand, that is important to ensure 100% contact of the base to the floor. We've had a lot of people asking about why can't you just set it down on the floor and, uh, and bolt it down? You can certainly do it that way, and it would probably work fine, but they recommend that you grout the bottom so that the grout is touching the bottom of the, uh, the base plate 100% all the way around. So that's the plan, that's what we're gonna do. So we will get it, we will get the column mounted, let the grout set, and then maybe the following week, we'll go ahead and torque it, and then get the beam set up there as well. So there'll be a couple videos of the install of the Gore Bell. And I, yes, I do plan on filming it. I'd like to share it with you and uh, keep the updates coming that we're gonna be uh, getting into. I think I might have showed this last week. I cannot remember now, but you can see the red lines. That's gonna be indicating where the wall is. So we've got a wall here and there's a wall here. This is the power coming up to supply uh, the power to this area here. Water line for toilet, sink, and then they're actually installing a water faucet out here as well, like a drinking water faucet and a small uh, hot water heater. It's, that's the uh, same for every unit he has done that for. He, uh, Joe wants to keep every unit consistent and the same and have the same offerings. This Where's one, the door gonna be? The, the, the door? door from the office? Okay, yeah, so we talked about that. The door going into the office area here is gonna be the, side, the edge of the door is gonna be even with this wall right here. Mm -hmm. See this? This will be the bathroom wall right here. And so what I requested is a double door. I wanted a double door to allow more access into the office area in case I wanna put something like a nice big granite surface plate inside here. I wanted to be able to come in and be able to access it. So there's gonna be a double door right in this area right here. Uh, this is, I believe, for internet I, th I think that's what that pipe is for, is internet right there. I think that's about it. I'm excited. Looking forward to great. getting in here. And it's going to be a fun, open, clean slate to start with. Yeah. I do have some uh, ideas for later on once we get in here. And it's going to be a, um, it's going to be a slow process getting, getting everything started. This, I believe I talked about this last time. This is not going to be a replacement to my existing shop. This is going to be an addition to my existing shop. I don't want to move everything from there into here. I will certainly entertain the option of maybe bringing some things up here. I just don't know what that's going to be yet. But I want an additional shop space to be able to expand and grow and add some new capabilities to what it is I do. I think that's about it. I will go up front and show you what the front of the, uh, the building is looking like because we have that update as well. But I think that's what I wanted to touch on was uh, so you guys could see the actual wall. We had a lot of people thinking that this entire building was mine. Uh, that would be nice. It would be nice. <laughs> that would be very expensive. And uh, I know this unit is still available. And he had asked me, he goes, you want this unit too? Because, you know, he would leave this center wall out or have a doorway there that they could close up later. 
if I wanted to occupy both places. But, Maybe I should have rented it. But uh, <laughs> I was like, you're going to give me a discount? He goes, man, it's going to be what it is. So I would have to rent both units, and I'm not doing that. <laughs> this is going to be good for us right here. This is going to give us a nice, clean shop to work in and add some more machinery. I'll have a jib crane in here for lifting heavy loads. And it's close to the house. It's not very far away. That's the other benefit of this as well. This is exciting. Very exciting. Here's looking at the uh, outside of the wall. It's completed. And I had, I had asked them why this is a different color. Uh, this is going to be stuccoed. So this is going to be more of a finished wall right there. And different uh, paneling is specified for a uh, stucco wall apparently. All right. So that's going to be a nice finished wall right there. And then, oh, I was going to show you, or I was going to tell you about this too. So there's going to be you can't really see it but down there so they have a sidewalk that goes all the way down i think it's six foot wide and it will go all the way to the end it connects because there's a loading dock at the other end of this row right here that is the community loading dock if you need to unload a truck and maybe you just want to use a pallet jack or a dolly or something like that you'll have access to all the doors all the way down with a nice clean uh sidewalk one other addition that will be on uh, over all of the doors is a uh, like a canopy you might be able to see down there on that building what I'm talking about. So they're going to be adding canopy. So you'll have a little cover going into the office door. And like I said, we'll have a sidewalk out here. There will be a concrete pad uh, coming up, attaching to the entryway of the door. And then the rest of this out here will end up being uh, crushed asphalt, just like that. Just like the rest of the uh, area down there. Hey, there's a uh, shot of the uh, loading dock right there that uh, we can all use if we need to unload a truck. And then this gives you a little bit better idea of what the uh, approach and the sidewalk will actually look like whenever it's finished right here. So we have a little concrete connecting the doors and we'll have some parking in front of the units like that.